Today I want to talk about an aspect of Japanese culture that I personally enjoy a lot, but that is not yet very accessible to Western people. Love hotels. Love hotels are hotels that are designed for adult couples to spend time together and to enjoy themselves. In Japan it is common to stay with one's parents until one gets married or even after that. And because walls are thin and love hotels offer privacy, they are very popular. The estimated market size of love hotels in Japan is about 40 billion US dollars. And they exist in almost every city. So they are popular, exist almost everywhere. But how do you use them? I will show you how right after the intro. First, you should know how to identify a love hotel. This is the love hotel I will go to for today's video and the building doesn't exactly scream love hotel. So how do you identify them? First of all, if you ever see a building that looks like a theme park or a Disney castle, it's probably a love hotel. But as you have seen, there are also other versions. The safe way is if there is a sign saying rest and stay with different prices on the outside. Rest is the price for a couple of hours, usually two or three. And stay is the price for a night. These prices are only displayed outside of love hotels. So if you see a sign saying rest and stay, you can be sure it's a love hotel. Next, if you come by car, you should park it. Many love hotels have their own private parking areas. It's afternoon, so there aren't many people yet. Because privacy is very important, the hotels offer number plate covers. Once you have parked your car, it's time to check in. A love hotel's check-in process is very smooth and discreet. Usually you will see the available rooms on some kind of touchscreen or similar. There you can look at images of the different rooms and check their prices. This room is 6720 yen for 2 hours and 8400 yen for 7 hours. Once selected the room store will open and you will get a piece of paper with the room's number on it. In other hotels you might get a key instead. Now that you have checked in it's time to explore your room. Living room area. The living room has a television, small table and a sofa. Bedroom area with another huge television. And of course a large bed. There's also a large bathroom, but we will take a look at it later. As in every hotel, of course, there will be free stuff. You will get bathrobes, towels and slipper. More towels and yukata. Razor, ladies amenities, toothbrushes and hairbrushes. Face soap, moisturizer and hair wax. Bath powder, spa bath, wellness balls and more. But Japan is also a very safe country and because safety is important you will also get a couple of condoms. In this case we have the Red Ribbon Project, Aloha and Big Honey L size. You may also find a vending machine. This one contains Coke Zero for 150 yen, Kirin beer for 380 yen and non-alcoholic beer for 230 yen. How do you use them? You just press the green button and the price will be added to your invoice. In the bedroom I found another vending machine which is more tailored towards adults. It offers additional condoms, lubricate and toys. All you need to have fun. No hotel room is complete without entertainment system and love hotels are certainly no exception. 
you will most likely find a large TV and on this TV you can play YouTube videos, video on demand, both normal and adult videos and you can even order food. And if you want to order food it's very cumbersome to use a small remote control and that's why there is this large one. So you can type as you are used to on a personal computer. Privacy is king, so when you do order food or even costumes, you will get them through a hole in the wall. And if you open this door next to the entrance, you can get whatever you ordered without meeting anyone. Behind the bed is this panel on which you can adjust the room temperature, change the music in the room and adjust the brightness and mood of the light. You will probably also find karaoke equipment. Here we have these two microphones, a huge remote control for selecting your song and this gigantic book which hosts thousands of songs for you to select for your karaoke joy. Now it's time to get down to business. It's time to get clean. Okay, let's take a look at the bathroom. You will most likely find a toilet with a standard Japanese washlet. You will also find a very nice sink that is very clean, spacious and offers all the free stuff we have seen before. When you enter the bathroom, you are at the heart of every Love Hotel's room. This jacuzzi easily fits two people, maybe even four. As you can see, there's also a TV in the bathroom because, well, you can't stay without entertainment. Cleanliness is very important in Japan, so before going into the bathtub, into the jacuzzi, you get showered. So we have again shampoo, conditioner, body soap in different variations. And here you sit down, clean yourself, and then you get into the tub, and then you do whatever you want to do. Now that you and your partner are clean, it's time to go to bed and rest. Once you are finished and are, well, rested, it's time to check out. So in every room is this, this members card and it's totally anonymous and if you get it, you can get 5% off at the first time and if you come again and use this card again, you get 15% off. It's worth noting that once you get into this room, the door shuts, so you cannot leave and nobody can get in. So before you want to leave again, you have to check out inside of the room first. There's a machine at the exit where you can pay and then leave. Please be aware that some hotels do not accept credit cards, so it may be good for you to carry some cash. And now you are done. You just leave the building, go back to your car and that's it. So there you go, now you are equipped with everything you need to know for your next or even first visit to a Japanese love hotel. If you enjoyed this video it would be nice if you would give it a like and maybe if you haven't already even subscribe. For now thank you for watching and see you next time. And now the door is open again and we can leave. Nein, nein, unter.